Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make intro animation with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create solid layer for Element 3D effects. Let's right mouse new and solid layer. Add the name Element 3D, click OK and go to Effects, Video Coupled and Element. Then go to Text and let's write here Sport, Clusation Tool. I will use Super Snack font and let's hold Ctrl, double click, pan behind icon for move to anchor point center. Clusation Tool and let's move to center like this. And right now let's hide Text Layer and move to behind Element 3D Layer, select this Element 3D and Go to Layers, open Text and Mask, and select Path Layer 1, select here Sport, and go to Scene Setup, and click H2 for C Text, then go to Presets, and open Physical Folder. Let's use Flat Color, and open Material, go to Diffuse Color, change to Yellow, and chain diffuse and ambient okay let's change yellow color a little bit like this okay that's good so we can play some settings for better result let's try chain speckle like this and glossness and reflect it Okay, that's good. So let's go to import and open American football folder and select this model and click open. Don't change any settings, click OK and click normalize size and change scale. OK and move to here. So let's open inside, go to materials. And let's go to Texture Diffuse, click Non Set and Load Texture. And open again American Football folder and Texture, select this Texture Diffuse, click Open and click OK. Nice. So let's go to again Import and back to folder, select this Basketball and select this here, go to Open, click OK. And move to here. Let's change scale. And move to left. Open materials. And go to diffuse non set. Low texture. And back to sport balls. And open basketball maps. Select this diffuse. Click open. And OK. Nice. So go to again import and back to folder, select this volleyball folder and select this model, click OK and OK here and change scale a little bit, OK and move to back and go to here, let's change auto normals and open volleyball, select this material, go to diffuse, non set low texture and back to sport balls and open volleyball folder and texture select we have two textures with dirty and normal let's use diffuse click open and okay okay so finally go to import again back to folder and select this football and click open click okay and move to here and right now let's open materials we have two material black and white select this black and let's use black gloss for black material and select this white and let's use black gloss for white and select black gloss change diffuse color to white click ok nice so in this time let's select this extrusion model this is text let's double click and add here sport text click ok and move to down for go to new folder and select this sport text 
change group 2 and click OK back to After Effects. So right now let's create new camera, right mouse new and camera tool, click OK and we can control camera controls with this icon and I will use shortcut for these controllers with C, I will press C and let's press C and zoom to text. So in this time let's create new background layer and select solid, add name background, click OK and move to behind, go to FX presets, search FX gradient ramp and select this gradient ramp, let's use for background solid layer, go to end color, let's select blue, click OK and go to start color, select blue and white, click OK. Then go to change ramp shape, click here, select radial ramp and select this point, move to down and select this point, move to center. Okay, not bad. So let's change start color a little bit blue, like this. Click OK. Okay, so in this time select this background and lock layer, select element 3D, go to render settings. And let's open lighting and change cinema style. Okay, and open ambient or collision, enable, and change these three. So, right now go to scene setup and go to presets, environment, backlight environment. You can use environment HDRI images from Google. And let's, for example, use this color, click environment. Okay, let's click OK and press C for control camera and change view like this. Let's zoom to a little bit. Okay, so in this time, let's go to active camera, change view one and select this element 3D, go to first group and open particle replicator and change style 3D grid. Okay and change scale like this okay and open replicator fx and scatter and right now we can change scatter for random views and go to active camera and let's try change these grids to change this three Okay, let's try change better views like this. And move to left these elements. And move to right a little bit. Okay, not bad. We can change random seat here. It serves perfect random seat. And change view again we want. And back to active camera. And we can change scale here. Like this. And let's again change balls. Okay, this. Let's press C, change view, nice. So in this time let's open camera settings, camera options and enable depot field and let's change quality quarter, change aperture 150 and blur lever 125 
and let's change focus distance. Okay, and select this element 3D. Let's go to open ambient or collision, change ambient 10. Okay, not bad. And let's write change aperture 100. And change view like this. Okay, so select this camera and right mouse, go to camera and create orbit null. And for move anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon. And closation tool, select null, press R and make X, Y and Z rotation. Go to 6 second and change rotations like this. Okay, go to 1st second and change rotation like this here. Nice, and we can change rotation a little bit like this. Okay, I like it. And we can change X rotation. Okay, so let's see. Nice. So right now let's select this element 3D and go to again particle replicator and close here, open particle look and open multi objects, click enable and right now we can change rotations for these balls and let's make new rotation keyframe here go to next keyframe and change rotations like this let's see nice, very good and let's go to first second make scatter keyframe, go to next keyframe and change scatter for more dynamic balls let's see nice very good so let's close settings and enable background select this background and change color to more blue and end color change dark blue okay nice And select this null object, let's press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to some keyframes, and let's zoom to text. Also move to life a little bit. Let's see. Nice, I like it. So guys, thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.